this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, first off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome to my welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. Okay, you guys, this is the next episode of Journey to Redemption, which I don't remember what episode it is, but at this point, I don't even care. Let me tell you what happened today. Okay, today I log into the game and I was had some plans to play with the world just a little bit to kind of, you know, um, set the stage for what is to come. Um, and I went, I was playing with a completely different family, um, that I normally don't play with. And then I was like, okay, well, let me go check on the champion family. I go to click on the champion house over here and lo and behold, you can see in my bottom left hand corner, there's a baby icon. Somebody's pregnant. I mean, obviously, the person that's pregnant in the house is Melisande, but she's pregnant, guys. So you know what we have to do. I mean, we really have to go check out this family. I, I, I did not know. I didn't know. I, I did not know. I never knew. I didn't know. So I'm knocked right now and I'm kind of excited for her, but I'm a little, uh, afraid because I don't know if her husband knows yet. And I'm sure Mason, if he does know, I'm sure he's feeling some type of way about the whole situation. So let's, let's just get into the game without further ado. Let's just, I, I don't even have a plan for this. We're going to go in blind. She had the baby. Wait a minute. First of all, how, when I haven't even played the game, I haven't, I just now logged into, I'm yelling. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. I really am, guys. I am blown. Okay, look. First of all, let's just check Mason out. What is this, Mason? What is this you that you have on, dude? You have on like. I, I don't even know, but she had a baby. It's a boy. No, it's a girl. <laughs> Sorry, that's that's like a quote from a old commercial. The baby's name is Tanya? Okay, first of all, no. I mean, don't get me wrong. Tanya is a pretty name, but I know Melisande would not name her daughter Tanya. So we're going to have to fix that. But she had a baby. Uh, where's the baby? Where the baby's in the butler's room. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. So... I'm confused. When did she get pregnant? Let me start the game, you guys. I'm... Okay, <laughs> excuse me. I, I've got a whole lot going on here. I'm, I'm really, okay. So she got pregnant at some point, obviously. But w when did she have the baby? I haven't even been in the game. Like, I'm serious when I say I haven't been in the game. I've been building in a whole other world, but I have not played this. I'm okay. Well, you know what? We're just going to go with it. Obviously, Meaningful Stories has decided for me what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to go with it. Meaningful Stories basically said, hold on to your butts. We got this. I'm telling your story now. Uh, so we went ahead and moved the baby into uh, where she, w I guess, was intended to be all along. Melisande right now is a little tense. Um, she looks amazing after having a baby. I mean, the baby, I don't even know when the baby was born. Do I have, wait a minute, let's check on Mason. How is he feeling? He's feeling fine. Where's Nico? Nico's at the brick and bean. Oh, you guys. <sighs> poor Nico. Yeah, poor Nico. All right, so we'll get to Nico, but first we need to investigate. I need to know what happened. Do we have anything? Tell There's nothing. Okay, we just have what was going on with Tempest and Geo and Nico, but nothing that happened here. The calendar doesn't tell me. What is this? The calendar isn't telling me anything. The calendar won't. 
but she's feeling very tense, feeling insecure. Okay, well, she's probably insecure about the whole situation. You know, she <clears throat> most likely, excuse me, got pregnant uh, by accident. I know they woohooed the last time we left off. They'd woohooed, right? They had a little night of um, quality time and that was it. Like, I don't know. I don't recall uh, her getting pregnant. I am so over this outfit. I'm so over this outfit. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, but this is too much. Dr. Champion, we need to talk. I cannot with you today. I am completely shookeneth and um, this outfit is just not helping the situation at all, sir. Um, you look like a box of Crayola crayons. Okay, so Melisande went completely to sleep. The baby is still awake. Uh, I'm going to have Mason go check in on Tanya. I really want to change the baby's name. So... This is what I'm going to do. Instead of me just coming up with a name, I'm going to give you guys the opportunity to name the baby. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, do that. So drop me a comment below. Give me some ideas on um, baby names and we'll go from there. We'll vote or, you know, yeah, we'll vote and uh, we'll rename the baby as is. But Mason's going to come in here um, and nervously talk to the baby. Um, come on, Mr. Skittles. Come on up. Has he drunk? Okay, well, no wonder he's fine. He had a drink. So he's absolutely calm uh, because, well, he, okay, well, the baby's asleep now. Oh, baby's awake. No, baby's asleep. Okay, who's he talking to? He's chatting with the Bob Pancakes. What's Bob Pancakes doing here? What is Bob Pancakes doing here? Since when were you friends with Bob Pancakes? Either way, we're going to have to um, probably hire a nanny, um, more than likely, but maybe not. Melisande, I think, because she's always wanted a baby girl, she will more than likely try to um, pay as much attention to this baby as possible um and she will probably try to make up for not uh, for what she didn't do with nico um so we'll probably hire a nanny just to help out but melisan will more than likely do most of the work however she will need someone to watch the baby while she uh, does her daily socialite duties, whatever that entails, because I still don't know what she does during the day. Um, let's turn this light off. Okay, the baby is awake. Okay, Mason, do your duty, sir. Um, change the dirty diaper. Is the baby hungry? Is she hungry? We don't know. We have no idea. Okay, so you can feed her. Can you not go in here? What's going on? What? Can you not can you come rock the baby? He doesn't want to do it. Maybe she's too close to the wall. Okay, we'll try to rectify that just a moment. Melisande had locked him out of the bedroom. That was ridiculous. He couldn't get in because she had completely locked him out. Okay, so he's going to go ahead and change her diaper and bottle feeder. I really need to get him out of these clothes. Um, Look at him, though. Aww. He looks happy you know maybe he's changed his mind why don't you talk to you okay nico's home oh nico's sad okay while they spend some time together let's go check on nico oh you guys nico is so brokenhearted look at him he is so brokenhearted let me let me check he's still in love with her um they're still soulmates and he's still friends with Gio. And if you guys didn't catch the um, the cutscene earlier, he caught Tempest with Gio, his best friend, supposedly his best friend. And um, they had broken up, and he's very sad. Yeah, caught the love of his life flirting with another. Are they joking around or losing interest? Honey, did you not see what was going on? You guys had that huge argument. Obviously, 
you guys aren't together anymore. She's made a decision to move on for whatever reason. We don't even know why, um, but we do know that she hasn't been faithful. Um, he actually wants to talk to his dad, and Mason is willing to do so because he sees that his son is upset. Um, and this is not something that they normally do. What did I? What am I doing? Look at me, guys. <laughs> why? Okay, um, let's follow them to wherever they went. Where did I go? Upstairs. Um, okay. Ah, oh, Dad, thank you. I really needed that hug. Okay, we're back downstairs, and we're back downstairs because they can't decide where they want to go, and I can't either. <laughs> um, can you guys just stand, just stay still, just stay still, and have a good time. Dad, I don't know what to do. I caught Mel Melissa. I caught Tempest kissing Geo, and I, I don't know what to do. Son, you know what? It's really your answer is right there in front of your face. She's moved on, and you need to do the very same. Well, I just need to know how I can get past this. It takes time. It takes healing, and you just have to take it one day. Um, and one step at a time. Yeah, Dad, I, I don't know. I don't really don't want to hear that right now. I just, I just don't know what to do. You know, Mason, he's, for what it's worth, he's there for his son. Um, he may not be the most loving father, but he understands heartbreak and he hates to see his son. I really can't take him seriously in this outfit. <laughs> can not but um but did he go hide in his bed yeah he was gonna cry it out oh boy he's still in love with her like a whole fool but that happens it takes a long time for you to fall out of love with someone that you you know love deeply and he really did think that she was the one for him but who knows what time will tell what time what will happen over time, that's what I'm trying to say. I think what we're gonna have him do is take the day off. He doesn't even want to go anywhere. I'm sure he's not gonna wanna go to school to face um, to either Tempest or Geo. So he's gonna take a vacation day. He hasn't even done his homework. I don't even think he's in the mood to do it. Um, oh, he's got all these pictures in his... Oh boy. All right, so he's gonna do his homework and sadly, poor thing, and we're just gonna leave him alone for a while to stew in his pain. And we're going to actually catch up with the Blakeleys and see how they're doing. All right, so we found out, guys, what um, Mr. Josh is, um, what he actually does. He's not employed, per se, but he is self-employed. So I guess, yes, he's employed. Um, he owns a restaurant and he actually owns one of the most popular restaurants here in the area, um, which happens to be the factory. He and his brother. So he is gainfully, like gainfully, gainfully employed. Um, she just found this out. He didn't tell her, but she found this out on her own. Just, you know, a small town, people talk. Um, so she, uh oh, let's see. Tatiana has an extremely important test coming out, but school has been so busy lately. Should she drink a, a ton of cola and cram right up to the test? Or should she find some light activity to do and give her brain a little rest? Hmm, let's give her some light activity. And she has a performance gain. Awesome. All right, so Elle has kind of already made a decision about, oh, shoot, Tati forgot her homework. She's already made a decision about Josh. She really would like to get to know him a little bit better. She had thought about that way before she found out that he had a restaurant. Um, but uh, she's just a little nervous about the whole thing. She is. She has some feelings for him, and she really wants to try to figure those feelings out. She believes she might be falling in love with him and he, her. But um, again, she hasn't been involved with anyone in years. She, really, she's just been, it's just been her mom and Tati 
Um, and she's been mainly just focused on her daughter and her mother. So it's about time Elle um, enjoys life for herself and gets out there. So I don't know, guys. I Should we have her just date Joss exclusively? Or should we have her out there trying to meet other people? I mean, it could be kind of scary for her because she's kind of rusty. But Josh seems like a really nice guy. He's been very, very um, patient with her. Oh, what's going on? Oh, because she didn't play the lottery? Please. Whatever. <laughs> it's like a grandma. She fell out in her um, winter jacket. Anyways, uh, no, we're not going to pout about the lottery. So what we're going to do is, I don't know, it's, she has two days off. Tati's at school. She is determined to cry this out. Okay, go ahead. Tati's at school. So I don't know what we should do with her. You know what? Let's go and have her visit Josh um, and see see what she can get into. Maybe, uh, maybe he'll be at work or maybe he'll be at home. She really hasn't been to his house yet. So this will be a perfect opportunity to go and, you know, check his, check out his digs. Why did I forget that they, they lived right across the street from each other? It's so bad. So all she had to do is walk right across the street. And I hate that you have to go to a loading screen just to go across the street. Looks like someone is home and there's some food here. So he is just a regular chef. I don't know. Is this him? Is this Joshy? Oh, we got headline of, headlines off. Uh, let's turn that back on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that didn't work. Headline effects. On? Okay. Did that work? That didn't work. What the heck? That is Josh, though. Um, It did work. Uh, let's, let's go and talk to him. Uh, ask about day. Is this his room or is this, I don't know whose room is which. This is a really small house, but it's cute. Like it's really cute and it's clean. Look at this. It's really, really clean. For bachelors, very, very clean. Uh, oh, and they've got a little garden back here, which I'm not surprised. Uh, a chef loves a fresh produce. You know what? Let's do it. Let's ask him on a date. Not in a great mood, but maybe this is just what she needs to go out on a date. Um, and maybe he'll cheer her up. So this is the factory. This is where Josh uh, works. Why is Astro with us? Y'all see Astro? Why is Astro here? Astro is keeping tabs on Elle. Um, and I didn't even think Astro liked her. Wow, look at this kitchen. This is ridiculous. He came in here to clean up. Well, he wanted her to see his restaurant. She did ask him about it, and he was more than happy to take her, but I don't even know where she went. Oh, she is hiding out. She's giving herself a pep talk. You can get through this, girl. Just, you know, <laughs> just put a smile on your face and let him... Um, do most of the talking because, you know, they, she really doesn't feel like talking, but she really could use the company. So we're going to request a table up here where it's pretty quiet. There's a couple of people up here, but it's not super, super busy. Um, who? Oh, <gasps> there's that Christian dude. Oh my gosh. He's here. He's over here. <laughs> He's over here. I think. Or did he walk out? Where'd he go? What is Astro doing here? Um, Did I bring Astro with me? What the yickety yuck? Um, where is he? He's gone. Oh, that sucks. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't Christian. That was Josh. <laughs> that was Josh. Josh, you look, um, you look good, boy. You look really good. Compliment his appearance. Oh, he's ordering for us? Oh, he's like, yeah, I got this. I'll tell you exactly what to order. Of course he will. I mean, this is his restaurant. Why wouldn't he um, tell us what to eat? I just hope he doesn't make a habit of this because Elle is a woman, an independent woman. Not too independent, but independent enough where she wouldn't want a guy just ordering for her 
all the time. She loves to be able to pick and choose her own food. But, you know, out of courtesy, because this is his restaurant, of course, she's going to let him um, do the ordering this time around. She's feeling extremely flirty. It is a hot lunch date. Um, he's ordering. Look at him. He's such a gentleman. Such a gentleman. I mean, let's let's confess our attraction. You look really, really good today. I mean, he, this is not what she's normally attracted to. She likes a guy that, you know, wears a nice pair of slacks and a button down. But he still looks good. He still looks good. Um, like I said, he's kind of boyish. But maybe this is what she needs right now. Because Elle can be a little, a little uptight. Um, so let's give him a pickup line, flirt a little bit more. Um, oh, no, we don't want to tell him that. I'm so glad you, did, you, um, invited me to your restaurant. It's gorgeous. Uh, I d had no idea this place was here. I've never been here and uh, it's actually very, very beautiful. How long have you owned this place? Oh, uh, my brother and I purchased it a couple years ago. This has been a dream of ours and, um, we're so glad that it's come to fruition. I'm just, it's been, it's been a lot, but, um, I'm definitely enjoying every minute of it, but anytime you want to come and eat, just let me know. And you're more than welcome to, to have a meal on me. Um, let's see. Why are we, I was going to say, why are we telling him to go away? All right, let's see. Let's brighten his day. Um, yeah, it's gorgeous, and you, you should be proud. Uh, I'm sure you guys worked very hard, and I'm absolutely impressed. Um, I definitely would love to come back, so um, I will take you up on that offer. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and let them flirt a little bit and eat and enjoy their meal, give them some private time. We're gonna get back with Tati. Tati looks like she's in a bad mood, but I really wanna get back with her. And uh, we're gonna have her check on Nico, see how he's doing, because I'm sure she saw, um, saw that he was missing from school and that probably concerns her. Look guys, it's Nico. Oh, wow. He looks pitiful. He looks so pitiful. Come on in, Nico. Come on in. <laughs> um, he look. He went straight to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, he's. She needs to come in here and give him a hug. See what's going on. Go over there and find out what's going on with your friend, girl. I didn't see you at school, and you know, are you sick? With no, I'm not sick. And then tell me what's up. Well, I broke it off with Tempest. What? What happened? Like she's sad. I, I'm not, I'm not catching, you know, why you, what would happen. I saw her kissing my friend Gio. Gio? Are you... What? How, when? Yesterday. <laughs> Why are they laughing? It's not funny. Um, what? Oh. Oh my gosh. Wait. Wait. First kiss. I'm so tempted, but why would he kiss her? There'd be no reason. He's not in the, the best of moods, but he came over here. Why did he come over here? Probably because he really needed someone to talk to you, right? So he he's over here to talk to her. Wow, they're lovebirds. What? Wait a minute. What? Wait, what? What? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So does she like him? Does he like her? I need to know what is going on. Can maybe, maybe I don't want her to flirt because I feel like it's inappropriate, but maybe she can compliment his appearance. No girl, you are not going to sleep right now. We are cheating this up. I'm sorry. Um, 
I've, let's just compliment his appearance. Um, let's compliment his appearance. Oops. Okay. Let's see how he re reacts. Okay. He's not in the mood for it. Gotcha. Not a problem. I just wanted to test the waters. He's feeling bad. Let's, let's apologize. Let him know that we totally understand where he's coming from. Well, she's never had a broken heart per se, but she knows what it's like to be in love with someone and that person not be in love with them. I mean, she absolutely does. Just ask him for reassurance. You know, are you going to be okay? Yeah, it's just going to take a while to get over her, but I I just needed I needed to I needed to talk to someone and and you're the first person that came to mind. So I had to see what was going on with Nico. So I switched around just to see what was up with him. Okay, so he's in love with Tempest. What is going on with Tati? Where is this? So he's starting to have feelings for her. Um, her flirt bar was, her love bar was a little further along. So obviously it would be because she's been in love with him for a very long time. But uh, he's catching some feelings, y'all. He is catching feelings. Um, I'm going to have him complain. There's mom. Mom's home from her date. Huh? She looking? She looks sad. What is going on there? What? No. Absolutely not. I can't get you out of my mind lately. Want to go on a date? How dare you? And to their favorite restaurant, how dare you? Absolutely not. He's going to uh, cancel that. There's absolutely no way he would go back to her right now. But I think I want him to explore what's going on here. Let's give her a gloomy compliment. He's not in the right mind, but I think that would be the perfect time for him to figure out what is going on. Okay. That's, that's a good sign. All right. He's still sad, but he's flirting with her a little bit. She's responding. He's contemplating and he needs to go cry it out. All right, Nika, we're not going to make you suffer any, any longer. We're going to take you home and, um, I just needed to see what was going on with you because Tati obviously had feelings for you and you are starting to have some feelings for her. Is she the only one? I just want to make sure there's nobody else uh, that you've been thinking about. Oh, you have a good relationship with your sister. That's good. Okay. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get him home and um, maybe, maybe we'll give him some time to think things over. And, you know, they had broken it off during their argument, but it really wasn't official because you know how people say things in the heat of the moment, but maybe he really needs to decide if he wants to continue his relationship with Tempest or if he should try to mend things with her. I don't know. Um, now he's a tad bit confused with this whole thing and his feelings for Tati. And it could be just the fact that he's feeling extremely bad about the relationship, um, the lack of relationship um, with Tempest. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of Journey to Redemption. And I do hope you give me some advice on what you think about Nico. And oh, look, oh, he's fixing her radio. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. That is so sweet. Does he have any skills? Mechanical skill? Okay, he's not handy. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Maybe you should repair this. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Um, yeah, so I, I don't want him to get electrocuted. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. If you're not a member of the family and you would like to join the family reunion, Feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you know every time I upload. I do upload at least three times a week. 
I will talk to you later and until next time. Ciao.